last year and running 800 indoors and uh, he could certainly get amongst the medals here that's for sure the Dutch with high hopes for him Tuparitius, the man who is based in Wichita over in the States and has run some very fast times there. Tends to uh, put himself high in the world list, both outdoors and indoors, early in the season. And doesn't always show that sort of form, but uh, looked pretty good in the semis. Majoub Haida of Morocco, very strong, very powerful. Now this man, Wilson Kipkita, set these championships alight with a world record in the heats. Just strolled out there, nobody was in the stadium apart from uh, a few people like ourselves watching. 143.96, absolutely scintillating run. It was a privilege to watch him, he's a joy to watch. Glides around the track and uh, when you consider that he hadn't run at all this winter, just to step out and to do what he did. Absolutely incredible, and uh, I think a few people hoping he might fancy doing something similar here. I'm not so sure about that, but uh, gold medal is his main task here, and once you've set a world record like that, of course, uh, raises everybody's expectation level, and I think uh, he may be hard pushed to reproduce that moment because it, it did seem just a moment of inspiration. Yeah, this is about racing, isn't it? And it's racing for a world title. Uh, speaking to Anas Tuparitis just after the semi-final uh, yesterday, I asked him... Uh, how did people feel about that world record, his rivals? And they said, well, I think we've already given the gold to Wilson Kipkita. We'll see. Well, he still has to do his running. He wants to keep out of trouble, that's for sure. Tuparitis starting pretty fast. Mochibon also on the inside. Big man from Germany. Kurz is a big man. But Wilson Kipkita does what we probably would expect. He gets out in front straight away now. The others, of course, will have to decide whether to go with him. Kurz has made that decision that he will go with whatever pace that Kipkita sets. And Kipkita is so relaxed, he really has a very nice motion. Everyone asking me and other people in the stands whether he can break Seb's world record outdoors. I think he certainly can. 24-22, that's inside what he ran in the heats. And uh, he's certainly not hanging around. Kipkita with Kurz behind him. Tuparitis, Mochibon, Rich Kenna. Haida struggling to stay with this pace and it's pretty quick, I have to tell you that 50.2 was his mark in the world record or somewhere round about that, this is quicker or just about the same, look at that 50.22, I wonder if he's going to do it again, he's striding out, this is the point of the race where he would have to kick hard if he was going to run that sort of time, he's stretching out already, Kors is gone, Tuparitas is going past him, Haida's run a canny race at the back and beginning to move through, but Kipkido is already out in front, Stretching those legs, he still looks so relaxed. Haida giving chase. Marco Kors is coming back again. 76.49. He's got a chance. He's certainly got a chance. Kipkita being roared on by this big crowd in the stadium. They're cheering him down the back straight. Is he going to do it again? Can lightning strike twice in the same place? Kipkita striding around the top bend. The clock. Keep an eye on it. 143.96 is the world record. He's coming down towards the line now. He's going to be very close indeed. Is he going to get it? He is. He smashed it. My goodness me. 142.68. I can't believe this. That is incredible. Two world records in the space of a couple of days. And that is a world record. I mean, 142.68 indoors. Only a seat. Third race of the year, and they're all been here in Paris this weekend. What can you say? Steve, I think we all w were saying after that heat, that world record in the heat, what was it, 143? That seems slow but by now. But what is he doing in training? And we, we just couldn't speculate. I mean, you, above all people, were saying, it just doesn't make sense, really. It, it, it really is kind of superhuman. This time of year, running, running a world record indoors, not just once, but twice in three days. My God. Hawida of Morocco raised his hands aloft as he crossed the line. He's one of the medalists. But I think it was in just sheer awe and admiration for Wilson Kipteta. Kenyan-born, running for Denmark, didn't make it to the Olympics. I could Drexler did. But really, whatever for the moment is happening in the women's long jump, we pay tribute to a great, great runner. For the record books, Haida came second and Rich Kennel third, but uh, they weren't in the same race as this man. He's just so exciting to watch. And uh, I won't tell you what uh, Tim Hutchings has said behind me here, but uh, he's almost speechless, put it that way. Haida, as I said, coming home from the uh, silver, Rich Kennel third, but Wilson Kipkido, uh, you know, to put it in perspective, this run indoors surpasses anything he's done outdoors to be perfectly honest so far he's within a, a second or so of 
his best time outdoors and uh, when you consider how much faster people tend to run outdoors than indoors traditionally you have to say that something around about the 140 mark could be on for Kip Kida if he were to reproduce this sort of form outdoors and uh, I for one feel privileged about having been here to watch this run well, the little he did give away about his build-up for this race. Uh, he has been out training in the USA, uh, in Tucson, Arizona, which uh, isn't really that much at altitude, if any, uh, with Venustri Neongarbo, and uh, didn't really want to reveal much of what they've been doing. And he did say, uh, well, it's my secret. And if it's the world long jump record in the 1968 Olympics considered then the greatest performance ever and remained that way for many many years although uh, Mike Powell taking that world record in Tokyo in 1991 but nobody I think will get close to the times that this man has achieved this weekend over 800 Wilson Kipkita of Kenya 142.67 yet another world record from him after that in the heat on Friday night He's run around a second faster there. And uh, just in case you're wondering, no, he cannot have two world record bonuses. They're not cumulative. Just $50,000 for that first world record. On Friday night, Haida of Morocco ran a very well-judged race. He sat right back off the pace in the first couple of laps. Remember, Kipkuta went through in 50.2. The Moroccan sat back, probably went through in round 51 and a half. The likes of Marco Coors trying to go with uh, the Dane and uh, was just blown away in the second half of the race. And Nebbiolo, Primo Nebbiolo there, president of the International Amateur Athletics Federation. Delighted to be able to present those medals for what is undoubtedly the performance of the championships. And Rich Kenner looked very, very impressive in his heat and semi-final fast finishing man so the personal best of 146 in the final and good to see the Americans with a new name in the middle distance scene capable of taking medals at major championships well, job done a great weekend's work by Kip Keita and Steve, obviously it means that world record next summer, as Seb, is all the more vulnerable now. Well, I think, uh, as they were saying in the commentary, that uh, maybe 140 on the evidence of this sort of run, if you uh, accept that most indoor runners at 800 and 1500 are going to run at least a second or so slower indoors than they would do outdoors, and all he's got to do is really try and hang on to this sort of shape. He's been training as uh, Andy was saying earlier on with, with uh, Mr. Nian Garbo out in Tucson, Arizona and whatever he's been doing out there he should go back and do some more of it before the outdoor season. Between now and the summer, defence of his world title will be his principal goal, of course, in Athens, having taken gold in uh, Sweden, in Gothenburg, in 1995. 